Hello everyone, I'm Glenda Palmer. I'm Assistant Dean of the Medical School. Um, I think I've met and spoken with almost all of you. Um, I just wanted to give you a few um, reminders and high points today. I think we've pretty much discussed the nitty-gritty of financial aid and it is all on our website. But I just wanted to remind you of a couple of things. Um, file your FAFSA. That only requires your information. Um, and file need access, which asks for information from you as well as from your parents. That's essential uh, if you want to be considered for our institutional aid, for state aid, or for aid from the Department of Health and Human Services. Um, right now, all you have to do is, once you have filed that, that's all you have to do. We will send you an award letter, and that award letter will mention to you any scholarships that you may have already received. It doesn't preclude others coming along later. It will also tell you what you're eligible for in terms of loans. Now, nothing happens at this point. This is just telling you what's eligible, what you're eligible to have. But you need to write back to us and tell us what it is you want to exercise in terms of your eligibility. Certainly you want your scholarship. You probably want your 8,500 in subsidized federal loans because those loans are no interest and no repayment while you're in school. Uh, we are a direct lending school, so you don't have to find a lender. We take care of all that. All of our loans are directly through the government. Um, if you want to fill out the form that's necessary at that point, you can go on to our medical school financial aid website, not the general university one, but the medical school one. Uh, on that, you'll see the financial aid section. It's under student affairs. You'll also see a section called downloadable forms. There's a form in that section under additional forms that asks you to fill out and gives us permission to use Title IV aid. What that does is it allows us to put that money that comes in into your account and then refund to you any money that is over and above tuition. Um, borrow as little as you can. Uh, you can always borrow more later on in the year if you need it. But as we talked about, um, I'm all for having you love me in 10 years and the less you borrow the more likely that is to happen. Um, don't listen also, don't listen to hearsay because uh, they may or may not know. If you want the actual truth just call us. We'll be happy to consider any concerns that you have and try to give you the best possible information. Um, also I think it's probably a very good idea to write a generic essay and I say that because Sometimes I will learn of a potential scholarship and you want to apply right away and if you've got tests or something else coming up you might not have time. So if you have kind of a generic essay about what prompted you to go into medicine, what you want to accomplish in medicine, then generally you can tweak that just slightly for whatever scholarship might be coming down the pike. Um, I think that's pretty much all I need to tell you right now. You, I believe, all have my card um, and you're perfectly free to call me anytime or email me anytime with any questions that you have. Um, and I look forward to seeing you all soon.